We're winding down in the highlight series of the preliminaries in the Super 50 Cup. And in this match, it brings together the Jamaica Scorpions and, of course, the Barbados Pride. And we are back at Kensington for some more cricket. Hello, everyone. I'm Barry Wilkinson. Highlights time and the Barbados Pride. They have won the toss and they've elected to bat first in this encounter. They're playing for literary pride because they can't get through to the semi-finals. They've made two changes. They've brought in Keon Harding, the fast bowler, and Jamal Warwick and back from the West Indies team. He's also coming at the expense of Justin Graves and Miguel Cummins. The Jamaican Scorpions, they have named no new changes in their team, so they have the last 11 that would have played in their final game. So then, Barbados, they're batting first. Let's go to the middle and see what kind of target they all set. Beautiful day here at the Kensington Oval Barbados. Lovely day for cricket, not very hot. Nice cool breeze blowing across the field. And uh, off the mark, Mosley with a boundary. A little bit too short and wide from Jerome Taylor. And nicely put away. That's nice. Good stride in. And that'll go to the boundary. Not very good bowling by Jerome Taylor. Had a good delivery, went past the outside edge. And then the very next ball, a half volley. And was put away quite convincingly by Mosley for four. That is where you don't want to bowl. Not with a new ball in the hand. Got to pull that length back. And there you have it. Beautifully played down the ground. of the last ball of the over pitched up on the legs and moving into it nicely I don't think he meant to put it there but it's gonna get a boundary so Boucher ends the over with a four 36 without loss after eight yes. oh, that's a big nick but I think it I think it dropped they're appealing, so I think they're going to go back upstairs. But I think that dropped, but I think it's worth a second look. That is a healthy edge, but I think it might be pace off. That's why it didn't carry an easy edge. Yeah. Off the ground, good bum ball. If you're playing through the gap, you can claim it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> If you if you're playing a uh, you know pick pick quick gap or Westbury you can claim that but not at this level I'm sorry. So Mosley gets away, none out. That's in the air. It's not gonna carry. Only as far as leverage at Long On didn't quite get hold of it, Shane Mosley. And the first pride wicket goes down. Just a little frustration seemed to be setting in, Sam. Yeah, it's patience. It was a good testing spell here from Christopher Lamont. Batsman felt bogged down. Went for the big heave over long on. Taking on that fielder there, unfortunately. Didn't have enough legs to get over the boundary. So Shane Mosley has to depart. Good foundation laid. 27, 47 for one, Barbados Pride. Big appeal. Not out, says the umpire. Look like a pretty good shot from where we are. Some doubt in the umpire's mind. Well, could only have been height. Good shot there from Boucher over extra cover. I think it would have carried all the way for six as well. This is an excellent cricket shot here. Width presented. 
capitalize on it. Just too full and too wide. Should be looking to, to focus more wicket to wicket, Lamont, and paid the price for that one. Get it. And that's put down that slip. Brandon King, the culprit. I think maybe the shot that Shamar Brooks played got him trying to work it onto the one side. It may have blindsided him a bit, but no excuses there, Brandon King. That's going to be four. Short gave himself some room, Shamar Brooks. And he's very strong in that area of the back foot. Picked the length early, gave himself the room and slashed it away. Uncharacteristic there from Nikita Miller. He would be disappointed with that delivery, sort of releasing the pressure that was being created here. In the air and dropped. Another drop chance, and I think that should have been taken. It went to a stronger side to Curly Ambrose. Yes, he certainly did. I thought that was a rather ordinary effort on the part of Captain Nikita Miller. And another one, just <laughs> this time to his weaker side. He made a better effort this time, but couldn't quite hold on to it. Brings a smile to his face. That's the last one. What would have been ironic was, was if he held on to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's got that pass, the backward square, and it's going to go for four. That's the first boundary in quite a while. And Shamar Brooks races on now to 29. And this is the first force of Curly since the 21st over. Partnerships do happen, fellas. Partnerships do happen, boys. Yeah, the boundaries are basically dried up. Another badly lined delivery by Captain Nikita Miller. Four more runs. That's back to back fours on leg stump and swept away by Shamar Brooks no chance for the short fine leg two bad deliveries by Nikita Miller <laughs> that's an appeal for LBW they're shouting still appealing and umpire Tuckett is very disinterested umpire do get a correction Did he pitch in line? Certainly did. I think he was sliding down the leg side slightly, Barry. Look at the wicket keeper. Look where he's going. Out caught. He's definitely held that one. A little scoop there from Lenico Boucher, but he hit it straight to the fielder, and Bonner is not going to drop that. Not a very good shot on the part of Boucher. Straight to the man at fine leg in the circle. That was uncalled for, in my opinion. Boucher goes for 46. The Barbados Pride, 117 for two. Oh, there's an opportunity for a run out. Die right hit. Oh. Needed a direct hit. But he just scrambled back. Oh, there was a lot of confusion. Very uncharacteristic from these two. No communication whatsoever. And a direct hit, he's out. Well played. Good 50 by the pride captain, Shamar Brooks. Second 50 of the tournament. Well played. Well deserved as well. Really needed that. We have a look at the 
situation with the pride really not be able to establish a whole lot of momentum the openers put on a good opening partnership and there was a lull with that wicket that struck hard straight back over the bowler's head and will drop just inside the boundary good strong positive stroke by jonathan carter back over the bowler's head brings up the 150 for the barbados pride as well That is just carelessness. Straight through the man at mid on. It was hit hard. Should have been stopped. Couldn't understand, couldn't understand what you was trying to do there. Double green. in the air it's carrying to the man at long off and it's taken by andre mccarthy and uh, that's the end of shamar brooks full toss look to clear the long off boundary and taken by andre mccarthy so just when they were looking to change the momentum shamar brooks goes for 60 from 72 deliveries and the bobby the sprites 162 for three the 2018 2019 super 50 cup is brought to you by cricket west indies another day of action in the super 50 cricket cup oh that's punched over the top brilliantly oh that was sweet time windward islands return to defend their title <laughs> Shot. He the title. Against the top clubs from the Caribbean, Canada, That's and the USA. Fantastic shot. October 4th through the 28th. Live on ESPN and ESPN Play. For everything cricket, go to ESPNCrickInfo.com. picked up nicely and that will go for six over pitched and Carter just getting across his wicket and clipping it good shot by Jonathan Carter it was by no means a bad delivery douche it was just about just a little bit also off stump but Jonathan Carter realized there's no one in the boundary on the leg side that the Barbados Pride have just managed to inch over the four on an over rate at about 4.19 now projected at the current 210 but the prospect of maybe 220 230 if they get more gifts like that that's six To check that again it looked to me like it went over the boundary just inside just inside oh that's nicely played as well four more for Carter and with that four players will have to retreat a shower of rain comes across the ground. Well, this is the shot that brought the rain. Jonathan Carter splits the gap. Now 
Oh, shot for LBW. I think that might have also been pitched outside. We'll wait and see. Didn't hit any bat at all because umpire do get a signal on the leg by. Where did that pitch? Let's have a look. This is his official 50. Of course, he would have raised his bat for the previous one. So if he raises the bat again, that would be the century, right, Barry? Are they going to look for two here? Yes, they will. Yeah! And it's a direct hit. Direct hit, and they're going upstairs, but I think Scout might be going off the field. I think he was too casual with that running. He didn't expect Jerem Taylor to throw at the striker's end. And I think he was just cruising. Seemed to have been in based on his reaction. Yeah, I just thought he was cruising there, so he had it covered. Yeah, I guess the direct hit excited Chadwick Walton. It's also over 201 for three, five gone, five left. Three correction. That's a good hit. Good try, but I think the umpire is going to want to have a look at that. Did he save the boundary? Andre McCarthy. The ball just picked up pace on hitting the old field, the wet old field. Let we see that slide. Ball ricocheting towards the boundary rope. So many chances, and I think he did it. I think he, oh, just then. Just then, you see the shake of the rope. He would have done an excellent job until that point, Barry. Just eager to pick up the ball and touch in that group. Good shot. Good shot from Carter. That's four runs. 50 partnership comes up as well. I think Carter is looking at that 250 mark as well, Barry. He must have heard you. <laughs> we're, we're both visionaries. The 50 coming in, 35 balls. That's a good delivery, but it's going to go for four. Sometimes the best deliveries eat through. <laughs> four runs. Yeah, this was fortuitous. Slower ball, just a little full. Edged away past the man at the fine leg. Four. Vital runs at this stage for Kevin Stout. They're coming back for two. Level, 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 level. Good cricket. Very good cricket between Stout and Carter. Carter took that second run very, very fast. Excellent run in there from Carter. He was going to danger end. He decided quite early that he was going for the second run, even if he collected. It's well in. Excellent piece of running, but I'll put that down to backing up. Important facet of the game that we sometimes take for granted. Out caught. So a wicket there for Stout. Too well. Stout gone. Leverage picks it up. They weren't worried to really celebrate that that much because of time, perhaps. Nice and full delivery. Stout unable to get underneath that ball to get it over the fielder. Just chipping it to short mid wicket. Simple catch in the end there for Christopher Lamont. Fabulous lose their fourth wicket. Kevin Stout has to go for 16. 222 for four, Barbados Pride. That's a big shot. That's gone for six. The umpire is going to check it, but I think it went over the rope. Got it on the full Carter. It sailed, it went, it delivered six. That was a 
very thick edge, but didn't go anywhere. Good variety here from Tila. Full, fast Yorker. Here we see a slow ball into the pitch. That's a very creative shot. And it's gone for four. Well done, Carter. Good innovation here from Carter, getting down low, moving across to the off stump, getting enough bat on it to take it past that fielder, short fine leg, and all the way to the boundary. That's well placed. Very well placed by Jonathan Carter. Just between the two fielders, you couldn't want it better than that. And that's what the previous shot did, Barry. Made the bowler pull his length back. It sat up nicely for him to swivel through. And in the gap as well. Good piece of batting here from Carter. Two boundaries so far in this over. Exactly what the pride required. And he's delivering. They'll look for two here for sure. And I think he might be short. They're going to go upstairs. But they did do the right thing in trying to get him back on strike. Shamar Springer was quickly off the blocks. The throw was a little bit wide. That might be the only thing in his favor, in Carter's favor. Still think he's a little bit short from where I'm perched. But let's confirm that. coming in a little bit wide Walton had to move to his right to come back to the stump able to complete the dismissal in the nick of time yeah he's out but it was much closer than we thought John Campbell helping out Chaddy Walton and a good innings I think will come to an end here as the decision is pending and it's now confirmed so well batted by Jonathan Carter only one ball left so He's done his job and he's done it, I think, in tremendous style. 82 from 69. Well done, JC. They must come back for two here. And they'll get it. 92 runs in the last 10 overs. That's a rate of nine runs for over and that's really good batting from the Barbados Pride. Very good total then by Barbados in the end, 246 for five. It was led by Jonathan Carter. An innings of 82 from 69, seven fours and two sixes. He batted wonderfully well. Shamar Brooks getting a 60. I thought he also played impressively. Got to have century in the first match of the tournament. Barbados, the last match of the tournament. So in between, he was a bit soft, but today he came good. The bowling was very expensive. All of the bowlers took a bit of a lashing today. One apiece there, Taylor and Leverage, Lamont. But generally, it was Barbados' day with the bat. So then, when we come back, the Jamaicans will need to get 247 runs to win this encounter. After the break, we'll see how they get along. Here's Drake's. Yeah. We'll get off the mark with the leg by. Scorpions. Yeah. Nicely played from Walton. Just yeah. timed it. Square of the wicket. And that won't be pulled back. So he gets off the mark with a boundary. Yeah, good shot to get off the mark. Just opening the face, Chadwick Walton. Oh, to his confidence, some good. Well, that took off the bat faster than it got to it. 
John Campbell, a perfect cover drive. It was a quick delivery, but he was onto it in a flash. And this just shows you the man in form. Wide. Can't bowl any looseners at this level, young man. Guys are in the nick. I'm going to cream it. gone up and the finger goes up as well quick delivery from Kian Harding good pace bounce and taking the edge of Campbell's bat just have a look at this quick Campbell late on it as it went through him just that bit of extra pace Got some jets on him, Kian Harding. And this one just too good for John Campbell. Through to the keeper. And Campbell has to go. He's gone for six. And the Scorpion is now 13 for one. And he's got no hold of that. Doesn't bother to move. Had the room. in the air it's gonna be just out of reach Jermaine Blackwood trying not to pull and not being able to handle it four gone 22 for one and that's a good shot that's a good shot. Worked it off the body very, very ad adeptly that time. Blackwood kept it down as well. Looked to be in control. Picks himself up a boundary. What a beautiful shot. Not a man move. Chadwick Walton getting another four. Beautiful shot by Chadwick Walton. He's such a wonderful player, Walton, but just haven't got it together so far in this tournament. Sloppy, they're going to come back for the second. This could be trouble. This could be trouble. Run out. Good cricket. It appeared to be sloppy cricket initially, but Chadwick Walton was a bit too desperate to get back for the run. And he's paid the ultimate price. Shamar Springer, very vigilant. And Chadwick Walton's misery continues. It was always going to be tight. A bit of indecision on the part of Chadwick Walton and Jermaine Blackwood. Chadwick Walton paid the price. He's gone for 17. Jamaica Scorpions, 38 for two. That's pulled in the air. That's going to go for four. Had some pace. But it got the top edge of Blackwood's bat and it sailed to the boundary. Oh, that's going to go for four. That's gone for four. And as we speak, the rain is also drizzling. Oh, that's pulled with power. Jermaine Blackwood at his best. A short ball by Dominic Jakes. Pulled away furiously through mid-wicket. 
with some conviction because that's not Jermaine's Blackwood's favorite shot. And that brings up the Scorpions 50 as well. Uppercut and what a catch! What a beautiful catch! Hayden Walsh Jr. He's on as a substitute fielder, and you couldn't have asked for a more beautiful catch than that. That was a brilliant catch. Hayden Walsh Jr. He's a wonderful fielder, Barry. Took that spectacularly. Look at that. Way over his head onto his left. That was brilliant. And didn't he enjoy it? German Blackwood goes for 23. Jamaica Scorpions 53 for 3. Again, that one though is going to go for 4. There's no third man. So Brandon King is off the mark. 57 now for 3. Oh, he's made the most of that free hit. That's going towards the boundary, and I think it's cleared the boundary. That's gone for six. That's how you treat a free hit. I hope Chelsea Hughes is watching. Good shot in the end. Okay, he took his butt, one of his hand off the bat, eventually. And he still went for six. And of course, when they have a free hit, they gotta, they gotta go have to swing. Oh, he's punched that. He's punched that beautifully. Great timing. That's another boundary. Good batting here from Andre McCarthy. Ends the over with a four. 71 for three after 12. It's gonna be out. Pulled away, just tried to cut. And edge taken. And the keeper did the rest. Yeah, pretty innocuous delivery there. Pulling a wig at the bottom edge. Not really into the shot. And that's the first wicket for Suleiman Ben. Brandon King falling for only eight. Jamaica Scorpion 74 for four. That's a shot he plays well. Got him out the other night, but there's no one for posted there. And McCarthy just hitting through the line, just driving that one over cover. Stunning, wonderful shot by Andre McCarthy. That is a wonderful inside out. That is the best area to hit the left hand spinner. And he's played it well. That's, I think that Barbados batting let them down badly. I mean, you can't come into a tournament and keep scoring 170 or just about 200 or just over 200 and expect to advance. You got to do better than that. Their bowling, for the most part, had been okay, but they were let down badly by the batting. And that's another wonderful square drive by Andre McCarthy to bring the over to an end as well. Ooh, that is a good sweep shot. Very tempting. Will go to the boundary as well. And Warwick Khan wouldn't mind that whatsoever. If he misses that, he he is dead. He's plump. That's why he has the cheeky smile, Sir Curly. 
Of course, he wouldn't, he wouldn't mind at all. Oh. It was a basically foolish delivery. It was risky to play the sweep shot. But he got away with it in Kuma Bono. And that's a good 50 for Andre McCarthy. Brings it up with a wonderful off drive. He's having a terrific tournament, Sir Curtly. Oh, that man on the screen, he's on fire. A wonderful knock. And you only take, he only took 56 deliveries to get his 50, which is very good, considering they've lost four wickets. Well, he's laced into that one of some work to be done oh, on his four. Oh, he definitely laid into the shirt. And has a wonderful pull shot. Roll the wrist on that one beautifully. McCarthy. Yes, he's seen it as big as a basketball. Wonderful back foot punch by Nkuma Bonga. That is a wonderful shot by Bonner. He needs time in the middle. And he's on 28. After 28 overs, the Scorpions 148 for four. Another day of action in the Super 50 Cricket Cup. Oh, that's punched over the top brilliantly. Oh, that was sweet time. Windward Islands return to defend their title. That's the winning shot. They take the title. Against the top clubs from the Caribbean, Canada, That's and the USA. Fantastic shot. October 4th through the 28th. Live on ESPN and ESPN Play. For everything cricket, go to ESPNCrickInfo.com. The 2018-2019 Super 50 Cup has been brought to you by... Cricket West Indies. Yeah! Oh, there's an outside edge. Could it be? There's a load appeal. Umpire called Tuckett is unmoved. He's as still as Nelson in Bridgetown. Standing. Not sure if he did. Miller. Oh, that would have been a close. That would have been close if it had hit. But I like the commitment. I like the commitment from Bonner. Another batsman would have just ambled in and stretch. He put in the dive. He knows how important his wicket is in this encounter. So he put in the dive and it may have just saved him had it hit. Oh, he's got that through. That's going to go down to the boundary for four. McCarthy finding the gap. And that takes Jamaica to 173 now for four. Yeah, with presented here and with your third man up, it's never a good idea. McCarthy was quickly onto that, realized that he just needed to find the gap, played it late, and got the reward that he was after. Moves on to 70, Andrew McCarthy. That's a good shot. 100 partnership comes up with a boundary. McCarthy going back with a square, and that looked pretty good. Yeah, this is sensible batting again. This time he realized that Stout would try to adjust his line. He overcompensated, got a little bit too straight. A little shimmy across to the offside, open up the deep back with square like area. Another four consecutive fours here for Andre McCarthy. That's an appeal and he's given him. I was just going to tell you he was going to come this ball. Shamar Springer has broken this big partnership and has given Barbados a little stiff. Yeah, that's an important partnership to be broken there by Shamar Springer. Hundred and eighty-three for five now with the Jamaica Scorpions. And then Kuma Bonner has to depart. Did a really good job. Fortunately, he missed the straight delivery. Pitches outside off stump. Hits him in line. 
on the knee roll as well. So not much doubt there from the umpire. Bonner has to go for a well-played 41. And that's going to go for four. Giving them a little bit of width and played with good control. Play, kept it down nicely. Found the gap. Absolutely. Springer. With an offer. And McCarthy saying thank you very much. I'm going to catch him. And he's catching him beautifully this evening. And that's out. Brilliantly caught. Noble Green missing the plot completely. It wasn't about him. He needed to stay there with McCarthy. But just look at that catch. Jonathan Carter. And uh, the equation changes again. Derville Green goes for two. It's 191 for six. That's uh, put down. Struck firmly. Difficult chance. But put down nevertheless. We've got 11 overs to go. And at 193 for six. This could have been taken. Sharp chance. Good attempt. And came back as quickly as as well. Got his hands in a good position. Just couldn't couldn't hold on. That's out. And uh, that could be game over. McCarthy holds out at short mid wicket. Springer picks up another wicket. And the seventh wicket goes down for the Scorpions. On drive, couldn't get it past Shamar Brooks. And the Pride know now that they have this game in hand. The danger man, Andre McCarthy. The wicket they needed to get. And he's got to go for well played 83 that's it straight back over his head and that'll go all the way for six he has the ability to strike lusty blows and that is one of them stand and deliver jerome taylor that is a one wonderful Shot by Jerome Bobby Taylor. That's a big shout, and it's going to see, get sent. Up goes Carl Tuckett's finger. And uh, Nikita Miller has to leave the scene. sure about that but may have been clipping leg anyway it doesn't really matter what we think Empire thinks it's out Miller goes for not that's in the air and it should be taken and is end of Jerome Taylor another wicket for Springer the catcher looking to go over the top Taylor and the second attempt Kian Harding takes the catch I think the writing is on the wall now as Jerome Taylor goes for nine and the Scorpions 203. Oh, 
that's hit high and hard should drop safely and boundary to leverage clearing that left leg that that right leg get in the boundary as well Springer got to go for the Yorker. He's a tail ender. Uh, I don't think he's going to block this one. Bold him. And uh, that's the end. The pride victorious. Five wickets for Shamar Springer. The first five of his career and the best figures he's had at this level and that's how it ended just targeted the stumps and if the batsman misses when you do that you hit and that's the end of Lamont So Jamaica promised a lot. It looked like at one stage they would have actually overhauled the total of 246. But that was not to be. Shamar Springer intervened. And when he did, he got a five wicket haul, five for 30, upstaging what was an excellent innings there from Andre McCarthy of 83. He also got the Man of the Match award for that innings, uh, that match winning haul of five for 30. Some support from Ben. Stuck wasn't too hot tonight. But you look at the other bowlers, they were expensive. Keon Harden, I thought, was very impressive as well. So congratulations, the Bobby Pride finishing strong. Even if they didn't start strong or play consistently well in the tournament, they finished with a victory against a team who is in the semi-finals. So they must get some credit for that. So then the competition continues. The Super 50 Cup moves in now to the final prelim round on Monday. And we'll have more highlights. This time, the semi-finalists, the CCC, will be playing against the Leeward Island Hurricanes on Monday. Please join us then as we continue the Super 50 Cup on ESPN.